Hey guys, today I'm going to show you something really awesome. I'm going to show you how to hide the App Smith watermark forever. Now you can tell I'm really excited to show you how to do this, so let's jump right in. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Let's get started. So to remove the watermark, you would need to get two things done. Uh, first, you need to get a business license. I'm going to leave links below on steps to upgrade to a business license. And lastly, you need to make certain tweaks to the admin settings page of your instance. So let's hop over to my screen and let me show you exactly how to do this. So right here, I have my instance, as you can tell from the URL. I'm just going to show you the old experience. So for example, I'm ha I have this uh, first application which I am working on. I'm going to go ahead to launch this. And something you notice when the page is loaded up is that we have the built on AppSmith watermark. Now, with this feature, you'll be able to hide the build on AppSmith watermark on every page of every application you build on your instance. So let's head back to the admin settings page and let me show you how to do this. So I'm going to close this up and let us go to my admin settings page. And here in the general tab, you now have an option to hide the watermark. So what you need to do is make sure this is turned off and then you can go to save and restart your installation. So let's give this a minute or two and we'll come back to it. All right, my instance is back up. So let's head back to the dashboard and I'm going to go ahead to relaunch the application you saw earlier. So let's launch this and head over to the new tab. And voila, la watermark est supreme. Don't judge me guys, that's all the French I know. So as you can see, the watermark has been completely removed, which is really awesome. And it's going to stay removed on any page and on any application built on your instance. So this is how easy it is to hide the watermark or completely remove it from your installation. I hope you found this helpful and go try to check it out as soon as you can. All right, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.